Welcome all gamers, ballers, and play callers to Universal Studios in Hollywood, California. We're about to kick off the finals of the EA Sports Madden Challenge 07, the tournament to decide who is the best gamer at the best video game on this or any other planet. I'm Top Taylor, your host here with the winners of 17 regional Madden competitions, plus the winners of challenges in Canada, Mexico, and England, along with four online Madden champions. The spotlight is on, the pressure is real, and for one skilled gamer, the glory will be unparalleled. We are thrilled to be here. Very exciting competition. My name is Ari Wolf. I will handle the play-by-play. -play. And here with a trusted name in the Madden community, a legend in his own mind, Rico Williams. Now, Rico, today, we get to the action. Let's start with the eight versus nine matchup. Oh, you got Duke got game and Cornstar. Duke won the Houston Regional, didn't get stopped all day. Cornstar, the Indianapolis native, won his final game without Moss. Definitely should be a shootout today. In a tightly fought battle, Houston winner Duke got game kept Indianapolis winner Cornstar on the ropes throughout the match. Let's go! Then Duke turned the ball over three times, and Cornstar capitalized with a fourth quarter TD run. Three picks is something that's very hard to overcome, and all the time I spent preparing for this, I don't really even remember a game I had even one pick. Like my stick skill was just unmatched, unprecedented. I would usually pick pretty much anything they would throw, and I would just usually catch my way down the football field. All right, next matchup, the number five versus the number 12. So number 12 seed, the bottom seed in this side of the bracket. Any chance for an upset? You definitely have to say there is a chance. He's the Mexico regional winner. He went through an entire country, but Jet Steel, tournament tested, multi-time regional winner. Look for him to have the edge in this one. In a wild blowout, Jet scored three TDs in the first half and eventually won by the score of 35 to 10. You know, there's so many different things you can do. There's so many different teams you can use, so many different playbooks, so many different looks. You know, all other games you get bored with real quick. The next matchup, I love these guys. Evil Ken versus David Bond. Oh, that definitely sounds like a movie on Universal Studios a lot. But uh, look for Evil Ken. He's an online legend. Been playing the game for many years, even at the tender age of 17. Look for Evil Ken to have the upper hand. I mean, I disagree with the rankings and the seeding and all of that. I mean. I believe that I'm a lot tougher than a lot of the people that were ranked higher than me. Evil Ken's 32-yard TD pass to Randy Moss topped off a dominating 21-point second quarter. David Bond couldn't recover and lost due to the 21-point mercy rule. Final score, Evil Ken 35, David Bond 10. I wasn't expecting that defense. It's hard to go against something you've never seen before, and with only four minute quarters, you only get so many time to learn it, adapt to it, and make your adjustment. And the final matchup of the first four pairings of the Black Brackets, the number seven seed versus the number 10 seed. You got Bledsoe, the Minneapolis regional winner, against Mohamed Abdulli, better known as M.A. He won Canada, should definitely be a good one, but Bledsoe is the favorite in this one. I'm not really one to judge anybody's game or anything, but like I play the Toronto winner. I'm not trying to knock the Toronto winner or anything like that, but you know, if I've never heard of him, it's kind of good news for me. Oh man, it's intercepted. I intercepted him, took it to the house, so nothing. But showing the grit of a seasoned veteran, Bledsoe's Patriots rallied in the fourth quarter and walked away with a 38-24 victory. Exciting stuff there in the black bracket. Now, Rico, we move on to the red bracket. 